There was a suicide bomb attack on a Shiite mosque in the city of Kunduz in Afghanistan yesterday. At least 60 people have been killed and about 150 others have been wounded. The ISIS Khorasan have claimed responsibility for the attack. This is the deadliest attack in the country since the U.S. troop withdrawal. The attack took place at the Ghazar Es Sayed Abad Mosque when the weekly Friday prayers were going on. This mosque usually sees majority of Shiite community members. The security chief of the Kunduz area assured the Shiite community of a more secure future. in a statement released on its Telegram channels, the Islamic State said that a suicide bomber detonated an explosive vest amid a crowd of Shiite worshippers who had gathered inside the mosque. This is the latest violence to rock the country since the Taliban took over Kabul on August 15th. Graphic visuals on social media showed bodies lying on the floor, people fleeing from the scene and frightened crowds thronging the streets. Well, for more on this, we are joined by our correspondent, Anas Malik from Kabul. Anas Malik, good to see you. Malik, maybe you can start with an update of the number of casualties from this attack. Has the fatality rate risen? Well, uh, the latest that I have, Eric, uh, is that at least 60 people are confirmed dead, whereas 149 are injured in this uh, uh, in this suicide explosion that took place in a mosque that was full of wor worshippers, in a Shiite mosque that was full of worshippers uh, during Friday prayers uh, that has now been claimed by the ISI, ISK or the Islamic State. The ISK is an affiliate of the ISIL and it was launched in uh, Afghanistan in 2015. Uh, there were some local groups that had pledged allegiance with the with Baghdadi back then and since then it has been an existing problem. Uh, following the Taliban takeover, they have been giving a tough time in the past 30 days or so we've been seeing ramped up attacks by the ISK. Eric? How is the Taliban government handling the security situation of its people in Afghanistan? Malik? Well, the bigger problem is that the Taliban, who took real pride in this uh, security bit, they said that uh, following their uh, takeover of the country, the, uh, Afghanistan is much more secure. That pride has now been dented by the IS. We've been seeing uh, that the IS has been has been uh, regularly attacking the Taliban uh, in Nangarhar, in Kunar, uh, that's in the east. Then last week we saw an attack here in the capital city of Kabul. And yesterday we saw an attack in the northeast as well, uh, in uh, Kunduz. Kunduz borders with Tajikistan as well. Taliban have a high concentration of their fighters in uh, Kunduz, uh, primarily because they were moved following that uh, border escalation with Tajikistan. So the Taliban would want to give this semblance of security uh, and safety uh, and they have that has uh, that is something that they've been trying to sell as well to the world that uh, uh, Kabul or elsewhere is a much more secure place. Yes, street, street crime might have come down, but that is not uh, the only factor to be in to be kept in mind when talking uh, about security at play. So. That has taken a hit. Uh, the Taliban have visibly beefed up uh, security measures, but uh, it's a little too late. Too little, uh, too late, given that this uh, this uh, heinous blast or this heinous act of terror has already taken place. The Taliban uh, state, uh, spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid, in a in a statement, has said that they will be bringing those uh, who are be uh, behind this heinous attack 
to task and to justice as well. He's called them takfiris or as somebody, uh, as somebody who uh, who are to create a divide within Muslims. This is what the Zabiullah, uh, this is what the Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid has said in his statement. So the Taliban have been trying to create a semblance of security. Yesterday was a day off here in Afghanistan. It was a weekend. It was a Friday. Today Kabul is opening up. Uh, today elsewhere is opening as, uh, up as well. But it's uh, roughly 9, 10 uh, local time on the dial. Uh, and the traffic behind me, I can't, see tra I can't see traffic uh, in it, all of its glory, which you would usually see in Kabul. So clearly there is a sense of insecurity that is prevalent uh, following this explosion that has taken place at least 700, uh, me, uh, 700 kilometers from where I am standing. Eric? Malik, finally, we have heard reports that terrorist groups in Afghanistan are regrouping and have threatened to of future attacks to civilians. How big of a threat do these groups, such as ISIS-K, pose to the Taliban? Well, that is a very big threat. Uh, the, uh, the interesting bit from yesterday's bombing was that the suicide bomber was said to be a, a, a person from Uyghur. Uh, his name was said uh, in the IS release, it said it was uh, Muhammad Uyghuri. So uh, that, also re that also indicates the threat to the region as well. Terror groups are, re re uh, ter uh, terror outfits are regrouping, be that be the AQIS, be that be the tehreek e taliban Pakistan, or be that be the TIP that was formerly known as the uh, ETIM. So uh, by and large, that would remain a bigger problem because now the international community would see these smaller groups as a threat factor and the Taliban have a long way to convince them they would have to walk a long way to convince that they have the wherewithal the capacity to counter and eradicate these terror groups in order to make Afghanistan secure today the Taliban are sitting down with the United States just today in Doha and on the agenda would be uh, would be this cooperation or terror on terror linked elements especially to ensure that uh, uh, organizations like IS and Al Qaeda uh, do not have uh, uh, any foothold in Afghanistan so Afghanistan does not become a terror sanctuary the Taliban on the other hand have been in a state of plausible deniability in fact yesterday Zabila Mujahid the Taliban spokesperson while speaking to Tolo News the local Afghan TV channel he said uh, he tried to downplay he said that IS is not an existing threat but rather more of a headache so uh, through such statements or through so, such averages, uh, they're trying to downplay the presence of the IS. Uh, in fact, they, uh, despite the fact that uh, yeah, yeah, last week, just in Kabul, this past week that has passed, uh, we saw about uh, 25 to 30 people being arrested that were affiliated with IS. So the Taliban, on the one, one hand, they're trying to downplay. They understand that this is a problem uh, 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 and while making arrests, but they are trying to clearly hide behind the fact that they are trying to do much more all what uh, they can they are carrying out raids but it will be a long journey out uh, until the international community is actually convinced that yes the taliban are actually living up to their commitments eric live from kabul afghanistan thank you as always anas malik for that update